Namaste, dear students. I hope you are fine. And I also hope that you are ready with your necessary materials. And they are your English textbook, notebook, and pen or pencil. Are you ready with them? Good. If so, let me welcome you to our English class of grade 10. Now, I just like to make you recall what we learned in our previous class. Can you tell me? Okay, you are right. We did comprehension task based on the text that is about Mr. Santos Saha. Good job. You learn to do puzzle word. You learn to do true or false. You learn to do question answer. And can you guess what are we going to learn in our today's class? Okay, don't worry. I am going to show you a picture and I just want to ask you questions and then you can make a guess what we are going to do today. Is that okay? Fine. Now, look here. You can see processing, raw product, process, processed product. Okay. You can see it. Diagram. Now, I just want to ask you questions. Answer these questions. Now, the first question to you is, what do you know about food science? Do you know anything about food science? You can be best on this diagram, okay? Processing, raw product, process, processed product. So can you tell me? All right, that's fine. And next question to you is, why do you think it is important? Why do you think food science is important? Can you tell me now? You can just make your guess. If you don't know, why is it important? All right, dear students, don't worry. And in our today's class, we are going to do the task based on the listening text, okay? And can you tell me what is the text about? Wow, you are so smart. And the text is about food science. What is it? Yes, it is food science. So are you ready to listen to it? All right, if so, now all of you be ready with your pen or pencil and you can use your book, okay, to write with your pencil. So are you ready? Good. If so, first of all, you have to be familiar with the task. So your first task is given in B. So all of you read it once. Yes, the instruction says to us, listen to the audio and fill in the missing activities that the food science is involved in. Now, the first task you can see. A, grow the food. Uh, while listening to the audio, you have to fill in the blanks, okay? Missing activities. So, what is said there after grow the food? That is what you have to do. C, again, you have to write down their missing activity and transport food. Again, there is a missing activity for you. E, take food to a factory. F, process food. And again in G, you have to fill with the missing activity. Okay. Then H, turn raw material into food products. And again, you have to fill the missing activity. And finally, we have here supply to the grocery store sales. This is your first task. So, are you familiar with this task? What do you need to do here? Yes, you are right. You have to just listen to the audio and from the audio, you have to fill the blanks with the missing activities. Is that clear? Good job. If so, again, you have another task to do. And what is that? Yes, that is true or false. So, the instruction says to us, Listen to the audio and write true for true and false for false statements. Okay. So here you have to listen to the audio and you have to write down whether the given statements are true or false. Is that clear? If so, let's be familiar with the statements again. A. The speaker takes about five minutes to talk about food science. You have to find out the duration whether the speaker takes about five minutes or not to talk about 
food science. Okay? B. Food science is tied up with other sciences. It means that there are other sciences which have the relationship with food science. Okay? C. Food science exists around us every day. Do you think it? So, around us, each and every day, there is science. Okay? Then, food scientists help to make the food supply sustainable. What do you mean by sustainable here? See, the food remains for a long time. Okay? That does not become stale. E. The first priority of food scientists is growing food. Is this the first goal? Is this the first priority of food scientist or not? Just growing food. You have to find it out in the audio. So, are you familiar with the questions? Very good. Now, I am going to make you listen to the audio. So, a lot of you be ready and you have to be very careful, okay? Otherwise, you may miss the thing if you don't be careful, okay? Now, all of you be ready. I am going to play the audio for the first time and you just be familiar with the task and then the audio, okay? If you've never heard that food science was a potential major or that you could one day be a food scientist as a career, let me quick fill you in because it's only going to take a minute or two. Now, food scientists are involved in the food supply at every step. They are thinking about what's the best way to grow the food and the most efficient way to harvest that food. The next step is how do you transport that and store it? Does it need to go to a factory? Maybe once at the factory, does it need to be processed in some way? How can we make sure this food stays safe and does not hurt the consumer? And of course, food scientists work on making that raw material into different food products and packaging it up and getting it out onto the grocery store shelf. Everything you see at the grocery store has been touched by a food scientist in some way. So I guess more simply put, food science is what happens to food before it gets into the consumer's mouth. Food science as a scientific discipline requires knowledge from a lot of other sciences. So you'll have to be good with chemistry and biochemistry, biology and microbiology, physics and engineering, just to name a few. And I know you might be wondering, well, what science is there behind our food anyways? But food science is happening around you each and every day. You've probably just never noticed it. So let me give you a couple of examples. So when you cut an apple into slices and later see that it browns, this is actually an enzymatic reaction. Or when you use sugar and you heat it up and you see it start to turn brown, it starts caramelizing, this is a chemical reaction. Food scientists think about how to prevent food waste and make the food supply more sustainable, which explains why we turn something like liquid milk, which has a very short shelf life, into a lot of other foods like cheese and yogurt that have a much longer shelf life. Food scientists also work to invent new food products or create new flavors. For example, turning this regular chocolate bar into an Oreo flavored chocolate bar. But the number one goal of every food scientist is to make sure that the food supply is safe for everyone to eat. So if you enjoy science and you're interested in food, a career in food science might be just the right fit for you. Dear students, I hope you might have been familiar with the task and the audio. Similarly, you have to be familiar with the if you've second never task, heard that okay? And then you have to listen to the audio once again. Now I am playing it for you. Listen to it. If you've never heard that food science was a potential major or that you could one day be a food scientist as a career, let me quick fill you in because it's only going to take a minute or two. Now, food scientists are involved in the food supply at every step. They are thinking about what's the best way to grow the food and the most efficient way to harvest that food. The next step is how do you transport that and store it? Does it need to go to a factory? 
maybe once at the factory? Does it need to be processed in some way? How can we make sure this food stays safe and does not hurt the consumer? And of course, food scientists work on making that raw material into different food products and packaging it up and getting it out onto the grocery store shelf. Everything you see at the grocery store has been touched by a food scientist in some way. So I guess more simply put, food science is what happens to food before it gets into the consumer's mouth. Food science as a scientific discipline requires knowledge from a lot of other sciences. So you'll have to be good with chemistry and biochemistry, biology and microbiology, physics and engineering, just to name a few. And I know you might be wondering, well, what science is there behind our food anyways? But food science is happening around you each and every day. You've probably just never noticed it. So let me give you a couple of examples. So when you cut an apple into slices and later see that it browns, this is actually an enzymatic reaction. Or when you use sugar and you heat it up and you see it start to turn brown, it starts caramelizing, this is a chemical reaction. Food scientists think about how to prevent food waste and make the food supply more sustainable, which explains why we turn something like liquid milk, which has a very short shelf life, into a lot of other foods like cheese and yogurt that have a much longer shelf life. Food scientists also work to invent new food products or create new flavors. For example, turning this regular chocolate bar into an Oreo flavored chocolate bar. But the number one goal of every food scientist is to make sure that the food supply is safe for everyone to eat. So if you enjoy science and you're interested in food, a career in food science might be just the right fit for you. Dear students, I hope you might have been familiar with the task and the audio. Now you have to do this, this task, okay? So for it, I am going to play the audio and you have to listen and then do, okay? So you have to be very careful, okay? And you have to find out the necessary information, activities, and you have to fill in the blanks. Now are you ready for it? Good. Now listen to it and do this task B. If you've never heard that food science was a potential major or that you could one day be a food scientist as a career, let me quick fill you in because it's only going to take a minute or two. Now, food scientists are involved in the food supply at every step. They are thinking about what's the best way to grow the food and the most efficient way to harvest that food. The next step is how do you transport that and store it? Does it need to go to a factory? Maybe once at the factory, does it need to be processed in some way? How can we make sure this food stays safe and does not hurt the consumer? And of course, food scientists work on making that raw material into different food products and packaging it up and getting it out onto the grocery store shelf. Everything you see at the grocery store has been touched by a food scientist in some way. So I guess more simply put, food science is what happens to food before it gets into the consumer's mouth. Food science as a scientific discipline requires knowledge from a lot of other sciences. So you'll have to be good with chemistry and biochemistry, biology and microbiology, physics and engineering, just to name a few. And I know you might be wondering, well, what science is there behind our food anyways? But food science is happening around you each and every day. You've probably just never noticed it. So let me give you a couple of examples. So when you cut an apple into slices and later see that it browns, this is actually an enzymatic reaction. Or when you use sugar and you heat it up and you see it start to turn brown, it starts caramelizing, this is a chemical reaction. Food scientists think about how to prevent food waste and make the food supply more sustainable, which explains why we turn something like liquid milk, which has a very short shelf life, into a lot of other foods like cheese and yogurt 
that have a much longer shelf life. Food scientists also work to invent new food products or create new flavors. For example, turning this regular chocolate bar into an Oreo flavored chocolate bar. But the number one goal of every food scientist is to make sure that the food supply is safe for everyone to eat. So if you enjoy science and you're interested in food, a career in food science might be just the right fit for you. Dear students, I hope you might have done this task correctly, okay? Now we are going to do the next task that is true or false. Now once again, I am going to play the audio for you. You just listen to it and do this task, okay? Now listen to it very carefully and do. If you've never heard that food science was a potential major or that you could one day be a food scientist as a career, let me quick fill you in because it's only going to take a minute or two. Now, food scientists are involved in the food supply at every step. They are thinking about what's the best way to grow the food and the most efficient way to harvest that food. The next step is how do you transport that and store it? Does it need to go to a factory? Maybe once at the factory, does it need to be processed in some way? How can we make sure this food stays safe and does not hurt the consumer? And of course, food scientists work on making that raw material into different food products and packaging it up and getting it out onto the grocery store shelf. Everything you see at the grocery store has been touched by a food scientist in some way. So I guess more simply put, food science is what happens to food before it gets into the consumer's mouth. Food science as a scientific discipline requires knowledge from a lot of other sciences. So you'll have to be good with chemistry and biochemistry, biology and microbiology, physics and engineering, just to name a few. And I know you might be wondering, well, what science is there behind our food anyways? But food science is happening around you each and every day. You've probably just never noticed it. So let me give you a couple of examples. So when you cut an apple into slices and later see that it browns, this is actually an enzymatic reaction. Or when you use sugar and you heat it up and you see it start to turn brown, it starts caramelizing, this is a chemical reaction. Food scientists think about how to prevent food waste and make the food supply more sustainable, which explains why we turn something like liquid milk, which has a very short shelf life, into a lot of other foods like cheese and yogurt that have a much longer shelf life. Food scientists also work to invent new food products or create new flavors. For example, turning this regular chocolate bar into an Oreo flavored chocolate bar. But the number one goal of every food scientist is to make sure that the food supply is safe for everyone to eat. So if you enjoy science and you're interested in food, a career in food science might be just the right fit for you. Dear students, I hope you might have done this task also correctly. Now, it's time for checking your task. So, I am going to play the audio one more time. You just listen and check your answers, okay? So, are you ready for it? Good. Now, listen to the audio once again very carefully. If you've never heard that food science was a potential major or that you could one day be a food scientist as a career, let me quick fill you in because it's only going to take a minute or two. Now, food scientists are involved in the food supply at every step. They are thinking about what's the best way to grow the food and the most efficient way to harvest that food. The next step is how do you transport that and store it? Does it need to go to a factory? Maybe once at the factory, does it need to be processed in some way? How can we make sure this food stays safe and does not hurt the consumer? And of course, food scientists work on making that raw material into different food products and packaging it up and getting it out onto the grocery store shelf. Everything you see at the grocery store has been touched by a food scientist in some way. So I guess more simply put, food science is what happens to food before it gets into the consumer's mouth.
Food science as a scientific discipline requires knowledge from a lot of other sciences. So you'll have to be good with chemistry and biochemistry, biology and microbiology, physics and engineering, just to name a few. And I know you might be wondering, well, what science is there behind our food anyways? But food science is happening around you each and every day. You've probably just never noticed it. So let me give you a couple of examples. So when you cut an apple into slices and later see that it browns, this is actually an enzymatic reaction. Or when you use sugar and you heat it up and you see it start to turn brown, it starts caramelizing, this is a chemical reaction. Food scientists think about how to prevent food waste and make the food supply more sustainable, which explains why we turn something like liquid milk, which has a very short shelf life, into a lot of other foods like cheese and yogurt that have a much longer shelf life. Food scientists also work to invent new food products or create new flavors. For example, turning this regular chocolate bar into an Oreo flavored chocolate bar. But the number one goal of every food scientist is to make sure that the food supply is safe for everyone to eat. So if you enjoy science and you're interested in food, a career in food science might be just the right fit for you. I hope you might have checked your answers. Now you can check your answers with me, okay? Now, what is the missing activity for B? What did you write? So did you write it? Official way to harvest that food or you can write down harvest that food also. Did you write this activity? And we can find this activity in this part of the audio. You just listen this part very carefully. Efficient way to harvest that food. So have you got it? Yes, your activity should be official way to harvest that food or you can write down harvest that food. So if it's not correct, now you can correct, okay? This is how you have to make your practice while doing listening tasks. Then next, what is the next activity that we need to write down here for C? Transport food. Your answer can be how you transport food. Next, for D, I just want to make you listen for both. Storage does not need to go to a factory, okay? And did you write it for number D? What did you write there? Please share your idea. Share your activity with us. All right, now you can check once again in this part of the audio. How do you transport that and store it? Does it need to go to a factory? So have you got it? See, it's interesting. So while listening to the audio, you know, we have to be very careful. We should be ready to catch the piece of information. Okay. Now next, it's given here. E, take food to a factory. And then F, process food. Then what is the next activity that we need for G? What's your activity? All of you share with me, please. Okay, tell me one more time. All right, now your answer should be food stays safe and does not hurt the consumer. And you can find this activity in this part of this audio. So listen to it very carefully. This food stays safe and does not hurt the consumer. And so have you got it? See, it's very interesting. It's easy if we listen to the audio very carefully. Now, next activity is given here in H, that is, turn raw material into food products. So, what is the next activity that we need for I? So, what did you write down? All of you share with me, please. Oh, yes. Now, your answer should be, activity should be packeting, okay? And you can listen to this information in this part of this audio, that is, raw material into different food products and packaging it up and getting it out onto the grocery store so, shelf. Are your activities correct here? Good job, okay? And if not correct, don't be upset. This is how we have to practice while doing listening tasks. Is it clear to you? Good job. If so, now we are going to check another task that is writing down whether true or false okay now for this one also first of all i am going to play the audio you just listen and check first and we, again we do the same thing that piece by piece we listen to it 
and check our answers. Now all of you be ready to listen to the audio to check this task. Now I am playing the audio. If you've never heard that food science was a potential major or that you could one day be a food scientist as a career, let me quick fill you in because it's only going to take a minute or two. Now, food scientists are involved in the food supply at every step. They are thinking about what's the best way to grow the food and the most efficient way to harvest that food. The next step is how do you transport that and store it? Does it need to go to a factory? Maybe once at the factory, does it need to be processed in some way? How can we make sure this food stays safe and does not hurt the consumer? And of course, food scientists work on making that raw material into different food products and packaging it up and getting it out onto the grocery store shelf. Everything you see at the grocery store has been touched by a food scientist in some way. So I guess more simply put, food science is what happens to food before it gets into the consumer's mouth. Food science as a scientific discipline requires knowledge from a lot of other sciences. So you'll have to be good with chemistry and biochemistry, biology and microbiology, physics and engineering, just to name a few. And I know you might be wondering, well, what science is there behind our food anyways? But food science is happening around you each and every day. You've probably just never noticed it. So let me give you a couple of examples. So when you cut an apple into slices and later see that it browns, this is actually an enzymatic reaction. Or when you use sugar and you heat it up and you see it start to turn brown, it starts caramelizing, this is a chemical reaction. Food scientists think about how to prevent food waste and make the food supply more sustainable, which explains why we turn something like liquid milk, which has a very short shelf life, into a lot of other foods like cheese and yogurt that have a much longer shelf life. Food scientists also work to invent new food products or create new flavors. For example, turning this regular chocolate bar into an Oreo flavored chocolate bar. But the number one goal of every food scientist is to make sure that the food supply is safe for everyone to eat. So if you enjoy science and you're interested in food, a career in food science might be just the right fit for you. Dear students, I hope you might have checked this task too. I have played the audio for many times so that you can get a good exposure to the listening audio, okay? I think you can get the information from line by line of the audio. So can you tell me what is the right answer for the statement A? The speaker takes about five minutes to talk about food science. Is it true or false? It's not given in the audio, okay? You have to just listen to the audio and find out the duration that the speaker takes while talking about food science. Is it true or false? C, what did you write down there? True or false? Oh, some of you have said true, some of you have said false. What is the right one? It should be one, you know, true or false only. What is it? Okay, let me check. Your answer should be false because the speaker doesn't take for five minutes, okay? It is about two minutes and some seconds. Is that clear to you? So you have to write down false. You don't find it in the audio. You have to just know the time duration taken by the speaker while talking about food science. Is it clear to you? Now, next we have is food science is tied up with other sciences. It means that there is relation of food science with other sciences. Is it true or false? What did you write? Oh, yes. Now, your answer should be true. Now, I just like to play the piece of information from where you have to find out whether this statement is true or false. Listen to it once again very carefully, okay? From this part, you Food know. science as a scientific discipline requires knowledge from a lot of other sciences. So you'll have to be good with chemistry and biochemistry, biology and microbiology, physics and engineering. See, it is true. So there is relation with many other sciences like biology, microbiology, chemistry, you know. So have you got it? So that's why this statement is true. 
Now next one we have in C is food science exists around us every day. It means that food science is happening around us. Have you found this information in the audio or not? Yes, you have got. Then what is the right answer of this one? True or false? Was it? What is it? So what is it? Tell me once again, please loudly. Okay, your answer should be true again. Now, I want to play the piece of this part of the audio, okay? So you can listen to it. But food science is happening around you each and every day. You've probably just never noticed it. See, food science is happening each and every day around us. This type of information is said by the speaker in the audio. That's why the statement also says us that food science exists around us every day. That's why this statement should be true. Have you got the idea? Good. Now, next one is D and the statement is food scientists help to make the food supply sustainable. It means that the food remains for a long time. Okay. So, what did you write for this statement? True or false? Oh, again, some of you say, some of you have said false and some of you have said true. So, what is its right answer? All right, your answer should be true. Now, again, you can listen to the part of the audio from where you can find answer for this statement. Let me play this part, okay? Food scientists think about how to prevent food waste and make the food supply more sustainable. So, have you got it? Good job. Now, the last statement we have is E. The first priority of food scientist is growing food. So, is this the first goal of the food scientist that is growing food? So, what did you write down? True or false? All of you tell me once again loudly. True or false? Okay, you can raise your hand. We have said true. Okay, you can raise your another hand. We have said false. Now, let me check your answer whether it is true or false. See, it is false. Okay. And now, again, I am going to play you the part of this audio to find out whether this statement is true or false. Listen to it very carefully. But the number one goal of every food scientist is to make sure that the food supply is safe for everyone to eat. So, See, it is said that the number one goal of food scientist is to make sure that the food supply is safe for everyone. That is the priority of food scientist, but not growing food. Is that clear to you? Good job. If so, now I have one more task for you. Can you guess what is it? All right. I want to show you now. This is your home assignment. And what is your home assignment? All of you read it once. Yes, your home assignment is recall and make a list of sciences that you listen to in the audio. So, have you understood this instruction? All right, this instruction says to us that first of all, you have to memorize what you have listened in the audio. Okay, and after remembering, after memorizing, you know, then what you have to do? You have to make a list. Make a list of what? Yes, make a list of sciences. For example, in the audio, it is said that chemistry, biology, microbiology, and likewise, other sciences are also said in the audio. And you have to make a list of those sciences. Is it clear to you, dear students? Oh, yes, that's very good. Now we have come to the end of our today's class. I hope you might have got the idea to do the listening task. Dear students, you can listen to the audio many times because you are learning and you have to be exposed to the audio many times, okay? But don't forget that while you are listening to the audio for testing purpose, at that time, you don't get many chances to listen to the audio. So, is that clear to you? So, I suggest you to listen to the English programs. I just want to suggest you 
to listen to the BBC news, CNN news, English news of our Radio Nepal, English news of our Nepal television, English news of different FMs, you know, so that you can have more practice and you can get the information from the audio very clearly. So don't forget, okay, practicing this sort of things for your improving listening habits. Dear students, I want to wrap up our today's class here. I hope you might have better understood doing the listening task. It's all for today. Have a good day. Goodbye.